friends, this is Jennifer from Decor Sauce, and today the project I'm, I'm really excited to share with you is how to hang a wall sconce, um, a hardwired wall sconce, where there is no electricity currently in the wall right here where this is. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be tying into an electrical outlet that's below um, this, this fixture on the wall, and I'm gonna show you how to bring power up to where you want your wall sconce to be. Now, full disclosure, I am not an electrician, nor do I have any experience working with electricity except for what I've done in my own home. So my dad is gonna be helping me out with this project today, and he is an electronic engineer. So with that being said, please don't go um, touching any of your wiring in your house without consulting an electrician first. It's really dangerous stuff, guys, and so I just wanted to throw that out there to you so that you don't get hurt. Let's get started. After you locate exactly on the wall where you want to hang your wall sconce, the next most important thing and the most important thing on this project is to make sure that you cut any power to your outlet that you're gonna be wiring into. And you do that from your main breaker box, which is normally located in a garage or utility room, something like that. So um, I have not cut the power yet. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our hole, which is already marked off here on the wall behind me. And I'm going to be installing a junction box like this one. This is an outside wall, so this is thinner than a normal junction box, but it's going to be, we're gonna cut the hole and put the junction box in to fit, and then we're gonna run the wires, and I'll show you how to wire it up. To cut this hole out, I'm going to be using an oscillating multi-tool, such as this Dremel. You can also use a common drywall saw found at the hardware store. These are really cheap, only a couple bucks. And you just use them to saw out the drywall. Now that we've got our hole cut here in the wall, it's time to fish the wire. And we're going to be using what's called 14-2, which is a standard lamp cord. And there are two wires inside plus a ground. So the black is your hot wire, the white is your neutral, and then the copper wire is your ground. And we're gonna be hooking these up to the existing electricity below, black on black, white on white, and ground on ground. So. To, in order to fish our wire through the wall, we're gonna be using what's called a fish tape. It kind of looks like this. You attach the wire onto one end and then fish it down through the wall and this just helps you get those wires from the top of where the hole is to the bottom where the outlet is. Now, once again, I have to say this, make sure that you, even if you've turned your electricity off the breaker, you wanna make sure that you double check your outlet below to make sure it's not hot and you can buy a little um, small tester that will test in the outlet just to make sure that your wires are, or your outlet is actually turned off, okay? So we're gonna um, wind our wire through our hole to our outlet and then I'll show you what it looks like when that's done. Okay, so now we have the fish tape that's, we started from here at the bottom at the outlet and we fished the fish tape up through the outlet hole already all the way up through the wall and out the top. So now what we have to do is hook our 14 gauge wire to the top of the fish tape and then we'll pull it through very carefully. Hopefully that wire does not detach. So the terminals where you are going to hook the wires up are one on each side here and as you can see half of them on this side are gold and then if I turn it around the other half of the connectors are silver. So you're going to always re want to remember that black wire goes to the gold and, sil and the white wire is going to go to the silver connectors on the other side. And a good riddle is, um, or a good thing to help you remember is if you think black gold Texas tea like from the Beverly Hillbillies, that then you won't forget. So black wires go into the gold and white into the silver.
now that all of our wires are connected to the outlet below, the last thing to do is to install the electrical box. And I've already installed it here, but what, as you can see, you just poke a hole in the bottom of the electrical box and you feed the wires out and then you just push the outlet box inside. Now you're ready to install your light fixture. We connect the black wire that's in the lamp fixture itself to the black wire that's now coming from our new electricity. We hook the ground wire, which is the copper wire, also to the copper wire, and then the white one also. And you push it in the little hole and you just tighten it up with the screwdriver to make sure that it's not going anywhere. And that's all there is to it. Now you push the wires back in the wall and we'll give it a try and make sure our electricity works. This project was a very small portion of a much larger project that I completed. That is actually the room behind me. And if you are interested in seeing the full transformation from floor to ceiling in my bar lounge area, please check out my other videos at Decor Sauce. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helps you at all, I would really appreciate it if you would like. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me to bring great content to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a happy DIY. <laughs> hit me in the head. That's what it did when it hit hit me in the face. Air down through. We're going to be using tape to do so. <laughs> <laughs>